Lee & Associates, accountants located at 3127 North Oak Street Extension in Valdosta, Georgia, has been serving its clients since 1993. With CPAs on staff, Lee & Associates offers individual and corporate income tax preparation, as well as small business services such as bookkeeping, payroll, and monthly and quarterly tax filings. Call us today at 229-247-1040 to set up an appointment for a free initial consultation with one of our experienced accountants. Farmers and Merchants Bank has been helping people with their financial needs for over 100 years. And FMB is right here in Lakeland, Georgia to serve you. Whether you need personal banking with checking and savings accounts, money market and IRAs, or business banking with checking, cash management, and loans, FMB is also your lending solution for both personal and business. Whatever your banking needs, Farmers and Merchants Bank remains committed to be the best of the best. North Carter Street in Lakeland. Go dogs! Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Lakeland Drug Company has been Lakeland's hometown pharmacy since 1950. They're more than just medicine, offering personalized service, a drive-up window, and a delivery service. Located at 42 West Main Street in Lakeland, Georgia, you can call 229-482-3677 or visit them online at lakelanddrug.com. Lakeland Drug Company, more than medicine and a proud supporter of Lanier County Bulldogs. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you back here to the doghouse. We got the starting lineups being announced for Brooks County. Be your final regular season game here in the doghouse. Like Coach is going to start all the seniors. That's right. Mm. I'm hoping um, Greston Griner can have a Kevin Newbert s like night to start the game here, uh, Keith. Yeah. <laughs> Flash back to Cook County High School many years ago. Make some threes. And he can shoot them now, I'm telling you. And I watched this um, And I watched this jewel kid uh, in the JV game, man, he, uh, he 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 brought down some tough rebounds as well with his size there. So yeah. we'll see them guys getting their first start of the season here, them being seniors. So we got Jewel on the floor along with Griner, Brockington, Zayron, and EJ Brown. A little update on that big game down in Folkston. Charlton six, Turner five. Two minutes to go in the first quarter. Clint down in Quitman. Brooks run out to a big lead on us. And we came storming back and sure did. Kind of dominated the third quarter and got us back in that thing. Yeah, Brooks led by 12 in the second quarter. We come back and had our own 12 point lead there in the third. Yeah, I believe we got down by as many as 17 in that ball game. I, really? I, I didn't think it was that lopsided. But yeah, it was. We, were, we were down by as many as 17 there wow. at one point. As North and Pope is going to check in <laughs> for Griner and Jewel. Jewel. They'll get a nice round of applause from the crowd. Brooks up 2 nothing. North going to lob it to Pope, and they pushed him almost out of bounds. Sure did, no call there. I'm gonna call a foul in there on EJ Brown, I think. And it is. Yeah. So that'll be the first foul there on your Bulldogs. 
number 11, you were talking about he was their best player. He's a thick kid. He he's, well, he's one of them. He got foul number five is pretty good, too. And they got a real tall kid to come off the bench uh, last time we played him, but uh, I noticed he was in street clothes tonight, not dressed out, as Brooks County opens up to a 4 nothing lead here. Quan Pope with the basketball. He's going to go right to the basket. They're going to call a charge on Quan. That's that same little rascal down there. Well, well I, I believe that was a charge. Yeah, he lowered his shoulder. Yeah. Well, that guy run out there into him. He might have lowered his shoulder, but that guy ran into the Quan. So now we got two team fouls. I missed the first foul there on Brooks. The scoreboard shows they got a foul. Number three. On. Number three. Number two. Number two. Number two. Yeah, well, okay, gotcha. I guess I missed that one. That's down there at 11, and he's covered up. He's got four guys on him. They shoot a three from the corner, and wow. Seven nothing, Brooks. He looked like he shot that from behind the backboard. So they starting out the same way they did over in Quinton. Jay Ryan going to drive. Nice pass to Quan Pope. He puts it up. He's not. He's fouled. No call. And ball will be loose on the floor. And Brooks will come away with it. Man, all kind of contact down there. Metal Lock standing down there. He needs a bag of popcorn. Five with a three from the corner. And he nails a three-pointer. Ten. Ten nothing. And, then they, and let's get guys talking trash to our coaches. They ought to, they ought to put a technical on him. Well, the official had his back turned. Yep. Didn't see it. But he turned to the bench and just. Trash talk right there. So Brooks County up 10 nothing early here in the doghouse. 6.29 left here in the first quarter. Still a lot of basketball left though. And Brooks County fans have got this place loud. Let's hope the dogs come storming back here and, and silence them. Scoreboard shows nine nothing. I thought that was a three to make it ten nothing. Well, maybe he had a toe on the line there. All of north. But I will say this, over in uh, Quitman, they had some tenacious offense that first quarter, and I don't know if they just got tired or what, but after that it was a different story. Juan Pope there and miss. EJ Brown with the rebound. He'll drive, throw it to Pope, and he'll lay it up and in. Bulldogs get on the board now, 10-2, Brooks County lead. Brooks' coach all out on the floor. They call a timeout. I don't know what he's so upset about over there. A timeout, Brooks County. Two early timeouts here in the ball game. We ain't played but two minutes. Brooks with a timeout, the dogs with a timeout as well. They're trying to get that score right, I think. I think that's what some of the discussion is down here. Okay, all right. So they call well, timeout. Now we're erasing the book down there. Why, why are we erasing in the book? The original, the original marking ought to be what you got. That's what you called on the girls' game. They just, they just put the point up there on the board. Well, I mean, it, I guess they got to, I don't know, term, maybe they determined that it was a three the last shot. This we'll see. 10-2 now is the lead for Brooks County. Walk by no call. No Lark. Layup up. No good. Rebound there by EJ Brown. I can find the kid. I'll go get I'll send somebody out there to buy Metal Lark some popcorn. EJ Brown, a nice shot there. No good, but he's foul. He'll be at the line for two. Yeah, run down there and get him some real quick, Keith. See if he wants a Coke to go with it or if he got a bottle of water. Well, we'll just take his order. Maybe he wants a pickle or a bag of chips or some M&Ms or Snickers. I don't know. That's first action he's got tonight. <laughs> Handing the ball to the free throw shooter. As people say drinks, snacks, chips, all out of the concession stand. Free throw for EJ Brown, no good. We need these free throws. Got to make free throws. Second on the way, and it's a good. So 10-3.
And what you don't want to happen here is EJ or Quan Pope get another foul on them early here in the first quarter. And EJ Bright got one there. Got no backside help on defense right there. Trojans uh, being pesky on defense. Zay Ryan with a three, or excuse me, a, a two there, no good. Ball out of bounds off the of brook. Nice look there by Zay Ryan. He normally knocks that one down. End of the first quarter in Folkston, 12-6 Turner. Not getting any help out of the Indians right now either. That's still a low scoring game. EJ Brown for three, this a big, oh, much needed shot there, but no good, rebound by Brooks. Gonna be a steal there by the Bulldogs. Oh, God tried boy, to slap God. it to Zay Ryan and gave it right back to Brooks. Yeah, Hold the ball. Should have just grabbed the basketball there. I don't think he realized those Brooks guys were coming on that quick. Had they not been there, that probably would have been a layup by There's Zay a hand Ryan. in there by Rashad. He made up for it there. EJ, EJ Brown. Drive, lays it up, no good and no foul. Rashad tried to clean it up. Ball out of bounds. And Mellon aren't looking for somebody else to call it. Useless. <laughs> Dog's going to show a little trap. He walked. Oh, he travel. took five steps and they finally called it. He looked at the coach. Coach, like, coach, coach like, yep, you yep. did. <laughs> he just scored a touchdown there. That's right, young man. They, they could have used that in the championship game against Brooks when they got that beat down up there. <laughs> in Atlanta. That's right. Oh, a count. That's going to be a five second. Oh, wow. How did we not get a five second? Yeah, oh, they finally get a foul called under the basket. That should be about the fourth now Look, foul look who it. called it. The guy way out top. That's right. The guy under the basket still ain't blowed his whistle. That's right. Mr. Clean Face. <laughs> So 10 5. We can cut it in two possessions here. 12 5. Yes, yeah, excuse me. We throw up for Quan Pope. No good. Rebound by Brook. It's one for three so far from the line for the Dogs. Oh, man. North fouls him in there. Three team fouls each. Think they're on the way, up and in. 13 5, got to get some stops and some points. 348 left in the first quarter. Second free throw on the way, and it's good. North can shoot three-pointer up, no good. Got rebound by Zay Ryan. Thought he was going to take another one there. Yeah, there was no, we was fortunate to get that rebound. There was nobody anywhere yeah. inside the three-point arc. Well, we had Rashad down there, but he had about three guys around him. EJ shot there, no good, rebound Brooks. EJ with a near steal there. 14 to five, got to have some rebounding. All going to be out of bounds. Will be Bulldog basketball with 3.15 left now in the first. EJ with a long three-pointer and up and in. We needed that one. 14-8 now. Shot that one from Ray City Keith. He was, he was over there by Jesus Loves Me. <laughs> around there by the playground. That's out there not far from my place. Oh, that was a travel. I thought no foul. That was a travel there. Another they travel. got one over there on the hard far side. That's right. Old dogs forcing some turnovers now. Yeah, I'll, I'll be surprised to see Brooks be able to keep up this, this fast defensive intensity the whole game. Yeah. I mean. Exact same results we had over equipment. And we had North wide open there for a pass, but EJ Brown will be fouled and go to the line for two. Well, we got a second here. I want to give a shout out to Kish Wright playing down in the Georgia Florida All Star game down in Orlando. 
I believe that'll be tomorrow. Also, we'll have three Bulldog football players signing college letters of intent this week. Oh, nice. Way off on that free throw. Come on, EJ. We need these, man. Missed them both. Uh -huh. Shad runs after the rebound. Gonna give it to Brooks. So 14 8 now. Brooks leads it with 235 left here in the first quarter. I believe we was down about 21 8 over there at the end of the first quarter in Quitman. 22 12. 22 12. Tip there, no good. They get the rebound blocked there by Zay Ryan, but they're going to call him with a foul. Man. Just fortunate that's on him, not uh, EJ. That's where the weight room helps you. It does. We throw on the way up and in. They can't miss them. We can't make them on the charity strike. Second on the way, it's up, and it rattles in. 16-8, 220 left now in the first. EJ thought about a three, drives, shot, no good and no rebound. It's kind of a chance to go back by 10. Guy slips. They gonna catch it out of bounds. Oh man, if he just lets that ball go, it's Lear County basketball, man. He was standing out of bounds and grabbed it. That's just instinct right there, yeah, I think. Yeah, I know. He just didn't didn't realize where he was at on the floor. They throw it in at number 11, and he'll be in the covered up. He'll put it up and in anyway. Over two guys with about three inches on him, and he puts it up and in. 18-8, Brooks by 10. North for three. No good. Rebound, Pope. Oh, good pass there to Zay Ryan. He'll have a turnaround shot. Banks it in. That might be the um, F&B bank shot of the night. Needed that one, down 10. <laughs> Need a defensive stop here with no foul. Brooks gonna drive, be covered up, shot up, no good. Big rebound there by E.J. Brown, and it's off to the races the other way. He goes one on three, splits the defenders, no good, but he's fouled, put him at the line for two, and let's hope we can make a couple free throws this time. That'll be five team fouls on Brooks and four on your Bulldogs. We don't have a single player yet with more than one. We got them spread out evenly here as EJ Brown with the ball at free throw line shot up and no good. That's three straight misses for EJ Brown from the free throw line who's normally really good free throw shooter. I think Pope got the only make tonight so far. Second on the way, and it's good. Yeah, he did. Pope we'll knocked one down. One or two? No, one or he had to add one. He had to add one. I got, I got EJ with one point. So yeah, EJ both. made the one. Okay. Pope missed the and one. Okay, I got you. Yeah, Brooks answers with two there, and that'll put them back up 20 to 11. 105 left here in the first. Defense! Defense! Ryan there. He'll turn around shot. And he don't need to force that shot. We know that's a good shot for him, but... Only take it if you open. You got nobody around the basket for a rebound. They're going to back it out and shoot, play for one. Yeah, I mean, I like that shot by Zay if he's open. Not when he's covered up like that. Don't want to force it up there. That should be a jump ball. Yeah, absolutely should have been. Wow. Brooks with a drive, shot up and in. They're scoring at will. They're up 22-11. And very, very much like it was down in Quitman. If we don't score here, it may end up being almost the exact same score we had into the first down in Quitman. Quan Pope takes it right to the rack. 22-13 now. 12 seconds on the clock. They're bringing it across with 10 now. They'll take their time. They're going to probably hold for a three. Seven seconds. Down to five seconds. Four, three, two. Fakes, pump fakes, shot up. Three-pointer, no good. After one, Bulldogs trail at 22-13. We'll step away and hear a word from our sponsors here on the Near County Network. Lee and Associates. 
accountants located at 3127 North Oak Street Extension in Valdosta, Georgia, has been serving its clients since 1993. With CPAs on staff, Lee & Associates offers individual and corporate income tax preparation, as well as small business services such as bookkeeping, payroll, and monthly and quarterly tax filings. Call us today at 229-247-1040 to set up an appointment for a free initial consultation with one of our experienced accountants. All right, we welcome you back here to the doghouse. 22-13, Brooks leads it. Second quarter just about to get ready to go here. And down in Folkston, Turner leading it 16 to 10 with 2.18 to go before the half. And what is a very low scoring ball game down there. Those guys must be playing some kind of defense. Well, I'm going to tell you what now. If the score stays low, that might benefit Charlton. They can shoot the three. They can score some in a hurry. Just maybe uh, keep it close, and they might can pull away with it late. We bought all basketball over on the far side. Got to get something going. We trail 22 12 down there, was it? 21 12? 22 12 down equipment. So. And cut it to 34 30 at the half, and then had a 23 to 9 third quarter, and then had to hang on at the end. Yeah, we had an eight point lead with about two minutes left, and one by two. And that pass there goes out of bounds. D. Brooks County basketball. Not real sure why we had to rush that over there, and yeah. then man coming off around on the side and just couldn't hang on to it. I think he was worried about the five seconds. Yeah, he was. Had to get rid of it quick there. Case and Register checked into the ball game. He come in from Zay Ryan, didn't yep. he? EJ with a steal, got in a bunch of traffic and let him steal it right back. Right. Then they throwed it away and, and they got a call. foul call. Who they call that on? Called it on number, number 11. Rashad. Wow. Rashad Brockington. I don't know. I didn't see that one. I didn't either. <laughs> they didn't need, I just saw it with good eyes, all I can say. <laughs> Three-pointer, just going to let him have it. He banked it in. Yeah, that might be the f and bank shot of the night there. 25-13. <laughs> Good gracious. Juan for three. No good. Foul ahead. on north. Yeah, hustling for the loose ball there. Man, a lot of fouls on the Bulldogs here early. That'll be two on north, I'm pretty sure. You're right. Ten going to check in for 12 for Brooks. Zay Ryan back to the score table. They back the devil out of us, 27-13. Trojans by 14. EJ for three, no good. And that's all we've shot here in the quarter. I believe we have a traveling violation there on Brooks. They were fighting over the rebound. Guy come down with it and shuffled his feet. The Bulldog basketball here with 6.38 left in the half. Bulldogs not playing great so far. Brooks with some excellent defense. Brooks came in here ready to play ball. Oh, good pass there to Zay Ryan, but he lost the handle on it, and uh, Rashad come away with it, and he's fouled. They said in active shooting, but didn't think he was, but we'll take it. He'll be in line for two shots. We have not shot very well so far in the ball game from the line. Need to pick up the pace from the charity stripe. Free throw on the way up and no good. Another missed free throw. Gotta make the ones they give you. We have built a nice little condominium down there on that goal. <laughs> Second on the way and it's good. 27-14. We'll give him another three. Register with a rebound. Well, 
Brockington for three. That's, That's off. off. Somebody better rebound it. We'll have a, a loose foul ball call. Foul on register. Push on register. 6.07 left here in the first half. Third team foul on the dogs. One on Brooks. Audition uh, this steal there by Zay Ryan. He gets it to EJ Brown. EJ pull up jumper. That's no good. Rebound by Rashad. He gets it to Zay Ryan. Pulls up a shot. That's no Too good. hard. Rebound by. It's going to be Punk. But Rester ended up with it. <laughs> EJ Brown with a shot in the baseline and he nails that one. 27 Man, We need that something bad. 27 16. We're down 11. Man, a couple of times Brooks had opportunities to go up by 15 to 16 points. Oh, man. Just fell right to the guy. We get Rashad, ahead Rashad was trying to throw that ahead, and they had him by the arm. Oh, they got a steal there by Brooks. Just lost the handle on it. Yeah, they had him by the arm. Should have been a foul call. Man, I thought we was going to have a fast break basket right there, but turned it over. Brooks and just looks those unforced away. error. Yeah, that's high school basketball for you. Five coming back in for Brooks. Ten to come out. Get it EJ out top. Down in the paint to Quan. No good. Those are the shots we got to make, but Pope puts it back up and in. 27-18 with 4.26 left here in the second quarter. It start about a three. That drive, post to register up. Nearly threw it away there. Oh, register with a steal. They threw it right to register. Brooks County will tip it out of bounds. We had Pope cutting to the basket. Down in Folkston, Turner has took a 23-12 halftime lead. Man. Shot to get it in. He's got EJ over here. He's got to shoot the three, and Up we and needed in. that one. 27-21, cut it to six. Yeah, Bulldogs have went on a 7-0 run. Brooks, is, Brooks was driving to the basket earlier and then either dishing it off for a layup or kicking it back out for a wide open three. We went to a man-to-man. -man. That had to be a five-second right there. And we got a timeout call by Brooks County. Fisher way back under the goal. Give the timeout the guy on the far side. Never seen it. All right, so we're going to have a full timeout. We'll step away and hear some words from our sponsors. Farmers and Merchants Bank has been helping people with their financial needs for over a hundred years and FMB is right here in Lakeland, Georgia to serve you. Whether you need personal banking with checking and savings accounts, money market and IRAs, or business banking with checking, cash management and loans, FMB is also your lending solution for both personal and business. Whatever your banking needs, Farmers and Merchants Bank remains committed to be the best of the best. North Carter Street in Lakeland. Go dogs! Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. All right, we welcome you back to the doghouse. Bulldogs right there went on a 7-0 run. Brooks called timeout. We've cut it down to six. Led by as much as 14 or 15 at one point. I know they led by 14. Yep. Bulldogs finally able to find some offense. But the bigger picture is we got to stop Brooks from scoring. They've only scored five points this quarter. That's right. We'd like to see us keep that defense intensity up. They get it in the paint there. 
He drives, lays it up, no good. Big rebound Quan there by Quan Pope. And he barely got it there. Oh, that's oh, just no, why, why? You don't throw that God, ball right there. I don't know. Not a good pass. Not a good choice there on that pass. We're down back by eight now. They just waiting there for you to do it. Three minutes left here in the first half. EJ with it in the corner to Rashad. Quan. They got hands all over. Oh, that's got to be a double dribble. And three wide open. Each shuffle the feet. No, that wasn't no, no need to do that. No. Quan. He nearly threw it away there. Getting a I little careless it. with the basketball. Mm. EJ from Ray City, no good. Those threes look nice when you make them, but man, that's a low percentage shot from back there that far away. Unless your name is Curry. That's right. Two oh eight left now here in the half. Brooks looking to slow it down. Trying to put it back to a double digit lead, and they do. Thirty one twenty one. EJ, no good. Zay tipped it right to Rashad. Oh, oh sure. for Rashad. I mean, that's, that should be a fragrant foul. How in the world do you let that go without calling a flagrant? Yeah, he just all out just shoved him in the back. There's I no mean, way you don't come over to the table. Hey, oh, and he does. And he does call the flagrant. Yeah, so that'll be two shots and the ball, which we already had the ball. But, but we can cut this thing back to six if we can somehow find the nets on a free throw. Yeah, that was a desperation foul by that Brooks player there. Just uh, just upset. <laughs> Free throw on the way. No, no good. good. Hard off the back iron. I think we're about two for 14. I believe we've made three. Not sure how many we've missed. He makes that one. That's, Sean, that's his second make. I think uh, Pope's made one and EJ's made one. Yep, you're right. Now we need a basket. We got three team fouls on the Bulldogs, two on Brooks this quarter. 136 left here with nine. We get it into Quan Pope, and he's fouled. Put him at the line for two. Foul there on number 11 of Brooks. That's their first player with two fouls. All the first player with two fouls. That's yeah. their first player. We got we you got we got North with two, and they got number 11 with two. Well, the scoreboard says it's on one, but there's no number one out yeah, there. Yes, it's, it's number 11. Hmm. Another missed free throw. Come on, guys. That's just painful to watch. Painful to watch. Trying to secure a two seed. In the region, possibly the state playoff. And missed them both. Shaw got a hand on it. Brooks is going to get it. So we just went one for four from the free throw line that, just that time down the court. Good grief. Brooks can go back by, by double digits with a basket. Give and go. Two isolation basketball with two guys. And Quan shouldn't even touch that ball. That might be Brooks basketball. 113 left here in the second quarter. Dogs trail by eight. Quan will tip it back out of, or EJ, EJ. It back out of bounds. Now he should have tipped that ball back at the Brooks player because if it hit him out of bounds, it'd be our ball. One oh nine left here in the quarter. Got to find a stop. Can't go into the half down double digits. Got to go get Brooks on. Gonna run a weave. Shoot Wide a three. Three. Register with a rebound. Oh. 
A lot of good shot selection That guy there. went over EJ and grabbed a rebound. 30 seconds to go in the half. Brooks will hold it for one. Oh, we think so. You got to get on them. Thirteen seconds, twelve, eleven. Now down to ten. They will hold for a final shot. Eight seconds, seven. Down to five. They'll drive, kick it out. Got a jumper from the side, hit the side of the backboard. We'll rebound the basketball, but we're running out of time. So Bulldogs will trail 22-31 after the first half here in the doghouse. Eric, you want to give us some updates on some stats there in the first half? Okay. Um, Rockington with two. Juan Pope with eight. Zay Ryan with two. And... E.J. Brown with 12. So E.J. lead all scores. He's got 12 of our 22. And we're gonna need uh, we're gonna need to get some stops on defense this second half. So we'll step away. Come back here in about nine minutes for the second half action here on the Lear County Network. Lee and Associates, accountants located at 3127 North Oak Street Extension in Valdosta, Georgia, has been serving its clients since 1993. With CPAs on staff, Lee and Associates offers individual and corporate income tax preparation, as well as small business services such as bookkeeping, payroll, and monthly and quarterly tax filings. Call us today at 229-247-1040. To set up an appointment for a free initial consultation with one of our experienced accountants. Farmers and Merchants Bank has been helping people with their financial needs for over a hundred years. And FMB is right here in Lakeland, Georgia to serve you. Whether you need personal banking with checking and savings accounts, money market and IRAs, or business banking with checking, cash management, and loans, FMB is also your lending solution for both personal and business. Whatever your banking needs, Farmers and Merchants Bank remains committed to be the best of the best. North Carter Street in Lakeland. Go dogs! Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Lakeland Drug Company has been Lakeland's hometown pharmacy since 1950. They're more than just medicine, offering personalized service, a drive-up window, and a delivery service. Located at 42 West Main Street in Lakeland, Georgia, you can call 229-482-3677 or visit them online at lakelanddrug.com. Lakeland Drug Company, more than medicine and a proud supporter of Lanier County Bulldogs. All right, we welcome you back here to the doghouse. Start of the third quarter. Brooks County will have the basketball. They're up eight. We need some offense in a hurry. nine. Excuse me, yeah, up nine, my bad. My count it, got me. And it stood there, it stood there. Right up, like we're in there. foul trouble or something. And then, let, then just let them have it. Another quick basket there for Turner. 13-point lead for Turner, 35-22. And they're not done. One on four. 
Made the basket. E.J. Brown, that's a nice move there. Puts that up and in. 35-24. This little number two right here, he's quick. The drive handing off to number 11. He has a wide open basket. He misses it, though. Pope with it there, gets it to EJ, or excuse me, Rashad. EJ Brown lost the handle on it. Brooks County will come back with a three on two. Shot up and in. We about to get run out of the gym. Timeout, Joel Stites. Going to the fourth quarter down in Folkston. Turner 32, Charlton 26. So they still in that ball game down there. We needing help from we needing help from Charles Frenemies. That's right. We trail trail big here. Man. Damn Shell shocked here in the doghouse. You see it on our faces too. Mm, absolutely. We're not rebounding. We're not rebounding at all. That's right, and Brooks is hustling on defensive end. I mean, I just couldn't believe that steal right there they had on that inbound pass. I didn't think that kid had a chance at it. So Bulldogs with the basketball here, 6.50 left in the third. They trail at 37-24. Oh. North gonna shoot a three-pointer up and in. Cut it to 10, 37-27. And we don't get back on defense, and Brooks gonna drive and lay it right up and in. Oh, he thought about a three. He'll drive. He'll lay it off the glass. No good. Rebound by Brooks. Mm, no rebounding. Ahead to Brooks. They'll uh, have a shot. Let bow block there by EJ. Ball goes out of bounds. Should be our ball. It is. Six minutes left now in the third. Need to cut into this lead and get it to maybe about five at, after the end of the third. Double dribble on Quan, no call. Layup up, no good. Blocking foul, he'll be at the line for two. Got to make some of those baskets. Got to get some luck, get a roll. Well, Pope normally a good free throw shooter. Let's see if he can come back here. And knock down a couple and get it back to 10. Free throw up and no good. If we would make these free throws, we might be in the game. Might be leading the game. Well, if we go 50%, it's going to be a close ball game for sure. Awful from the line tonight. He makes that one. 39 28, 11 point lead. Oh, still there by EJ Brown. If he can hang on to it, they, Brooks will come away with it, though, unfortunately. We ain't they got, got a three on one down here. Oh, Zay, Zay Ryan, Ryan got it still. Slow it down. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice pump fake by North, and he puts it up and in. North stopped on a dime. He did, man. Wow. It's like he had the brakes on them shoes. I don't know what I'm more impressed with, that or the steal by Zay Ryan in the past. They had a three on one as Zay Ryan took it from <laughs> He sure did. Maybe, Maybe that's we, the spark we need. That's needed. what I was about to say. Maybe we oh. oh, they're going to call. He ain't called nothing all night, and he's going to win. Oh, man. Put your glasses on, man. E.J. Brown would have had a dunk on the other end right He didn't there. want to run the floor. No, he didn't. Well, he wouldn't have had to go nowhere. It would been a wide open layup down there. Brooks will get it in up nine here. 5.08 left here in the third. They'll drive, lay it up. No good. They're going to call a foul on Quan Pope. And that is a foul. He was backing away from the guy. 
He'll get caught with the foul. That'll be his second. Second team foul on the Bulldogs this quarter. One on Brooks. Two shots at the free throw line. 5.04 left in third. That one up and rolled in. Lead back to 10. They can't miss them. We can't make them. You got to flip that script, man. Second one on the way. It's up and it's in. Back to 11. 41 to 30. Nice pass there to North. He got three people on him. And he's going to be fouled by number 11. That's that might three. be three on him. Which that's good if that's it. He got in foul trouble oh, down They're going to call equipment. out 12. Oh, man, no. 11 got in foul trouble down equipment, and it helped, it helped us a lot. It sure did. He missed a good portion of that third quarter. North at the free throw line now. Free throw on the way up, and that was no good. We can't buy a basket. We got a three bedroom down here on this end. We gonna have a two bedroom down here pretty soon. That's right. Eh? Build a apartment complex with all these bricks in the line tonight, man. Come on, guys, we gotta make them. Second one on the way, that was good. One for one, one out of two that time and the last time. Zay Ryan there with a hand on that one and that probably saved a, a layup. Good hustle by Zay. Didn't get, the, didn't get the turnover there, but probably did save a layup there. Oh, that's a carried ball. Spin, move, shot up. Foul on no EJ. Good, but EJ will now have two, I believe. That's his third foul. Third, oh, man. 4.47 left in the third. Board has him at three. They finally missed one. They missed both. All right, guys, let's cut this back to single digits here. No oh, good pass there to Quan Pope. He'll go right to work, pull it up and in. Got it back to eight. Nice move there. Got to have a defensive stop without fouling, though. And shoot a three-pointer up. No good rebound there by. Got North way down there by himself. We get it to him. Lay up up. Oh, oh. Lee, you got to have that one, kid. Shot there, no good. The tip in is up and rolls out. Ball loose. Brooks saves it. We can't buy a rebound. They out hustling us, running to every loose ball. Shot off the side of the backboard. Rebound there by EJ. And, man, that layup by North while ago would have been huge. Gives a shot here to be up down six. No good. Air ball. Turner has turned it up on, Brooke, on Charlton. 40 to 28 in the fourth. And Brooks throws it away. Another chance to cut it to six. We've had about five chances here lately. As, as bad as we played tonight, guys, and you can't, I mean, you can't sugarcoat it. We haven't played good at all. We're only down eight. Oh, man. They're going to call a technical foul, or are they going to just call it? Well, he, he had to protect himself. Oh. Yeah. They just get us a turnover, not a foul. Or, okay. And he would have thrown that thing down. That would have brought the house down. Should have just probably laid it up. Sometimes that dunk, though, give you a little bit of momentum shift. Three-point shot there by Brooks. In and out. Leave he, it a rebound. Oh, we should have got it to Pope early right there. He had a chance to fast break transition basket there. They run the post back out of EJ. He's got a wide open three pointer. We need it, buddy. Yes. Big 41, shot. Brown 36. knocks it down. Cut it to five. 
2.54 to go. And I just told you a minute ago, we need to at least cut it into this lead and bring it to five here at the end of the quarter. We've done just that so far. Let's play defense. You've got 2.46. Oh, that's a traveling Call violation. Timeout. Called a timeout on my Brooks has called a timeout. I swear that kid switched pivot foot down there. Mm. So 2.44 left here in the third quarter. Bulldogs cut it to five after being down 14. Midway through the second. We apologize to sponsors. We It's too much action to break away. Oh, did we have a full timeout here? I'm sorry. I didn't even, uh, didn't even realize that. But 2.44 left here in the third. Bulldogs are battling back. If we could just make a few free throws and rebound the basketball and get back, we we're in this thing, we can win this thing. Oh, absolutely. We shoot 50% from the line. We have a narrow lead right here. Well, we got a timeout here. Going to give a shout out to my good buddy, my friend, longtime friend, Coach Cedric Minson. He's watching at home tonight on the network. Appreciate you, Coach Cedric. Yeah, absolutely. They had somebody at the table, but didn't bring them in. How, how's that work? Oh, oh, near still in there. He goes out of bounds. We'll be, be off of Zay Ryan. Ah. A good hustle in there by Zay Ryan. Zay Ryan has played some great defense here in the third quarter. Getting yeah. hands on balls and things just disrupting their offense. Absolutely. Now three's going to come in. He came to the table before they brought the ball in. But didn't check out. into the game. 2.50 to go down in Folkston. Charlton's cut it six. This is where we need to take um, advantage. 11's out of the game. Now, Brooks goes that right can't happen. The they know where that can happen. You can't let that happen. No. Nope. But now you got to go get it back. DJ with a shot up. Rolls tipped in by Zay Ryan. They got one of those tips against Clinch, I believe it was here. Man, that was huge. I believe it was an overtime, maybe. Well, yeah, they, I was thinking about the, the basketball. Oh, that was a travel, no call. Stop, shot up, no good. Rebound by Brooks. He just oh, went that, over that, North. Oh, Metal Art Lemon standing there not saying nothing. I mean, the guy just elbowed North right in the, the throat. EJ, got to give it up, son. Oh, and he does to Zay Ryan. Shot up. Oh, yeah, 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 the basket. basket. <laughs> Woo! Count that basket. 43 40 and Zay Ryan to go to the line. Wow. What a way to come back right here, guys. Knock this one down, Zay Ryan. Nobody else has been on fire from the free throw line. Let's see if you can make this clutch free throw here with a minute 38 left in the third. I'm sorry, Clint. That was your line. <laughs> I couldn't help it. What'd you say? I was, Count the basket. I, was, I, I yelled it over you. That's okay. That's, that's, your, that's, your, that's your line. <laughs> sometimes we get a little excited on plays like that. I know we probably bust people's eardrums at the house. <laughs> Turn the volume down. Folks. That's right. Zay Ryan with the free throw. No good. No good. Rebound there by Brooke. 43-40. Cut it to three. We've been down as many as 14. We are down just 13 in this quarter. Layup up. Oh, man. EJ got away with one. He sure did. That was a foul. And then he couldn't play defense. Yeah, he got away with one there. He should be have four fouls on him right now. 45-40, minute 16 to go. Quan going to drive. Lays it up and in. Good job there, Quan Pope. Big basket there. Back to three. 45-42, minute six in the third. Man, this is going to be a good game here in the doghouse down the stretch. This fourth quarter is going to be amazing. Brooks County with the basketball at the top of the key. Just under a minute left now in the third quarter. That's that same little play they run. They try to get it to the man there, and he's, oh, man, kicked out of bounds. There Should have been a three-second ball. Yeah, absolutely, man. He, he daggum set up a tent and went out there and got a four-four post to put up a mailbox. And good gracious. 45-42, <laughs> 45 seconds to go. He built a in fire. In the third quarter. Yeah. He ain't had time to build a fire. I don't know, had something on the grill. Oh, he touched it. I don't know. He touched it. The man bringing in the ball touched it. Oh, my goodness. That's awful. 
The man standing out of bounds was the last one to touch it. We swept it, but the man standing out of bounds touched it. Sure did. Mm, missed that call. Brooks with a jumper, no oh, good. Quan over the back. Not rebounding, getting boxed out. 47-42 Brooks. EJ with the ball over to Rashad in the corner to Quan. Squares up a three. No good. Rebound EJ Brown. Back up, no good. Rebound Pope. Back up, no good. Rebound He's somebody. Fouled. Fouled that finally time. fouling. Man. 44 to 40 down in Folkston, and Charlton is at the line. Wow. And that's, that foul there on 11. That's three on 11. What's that's, the score you said, Keith? I'm sorry. 44 to 44 40. 44 to 40. Minute and a half left in the ball. Minute game, and a half to go. So Quan Pope at the line here, 15.5 on the clock. He can cut it back to three. Free throw on the way. That looked too hard from here, but nothing but net. 47-43. Brooks by four. 15 seconds to go. Quarter number three. Dogs have finally woken up a little bit. Second one on the way, missed that one, tip, ball on Sean the court. Sean to Quan Pope, and he's fouled, fouled again. again. By, by 11, that'll, that'll be his fourth. fourth. And that'll put Pope right back at the line for two more free throws. So if you make both of these, I like to miss in the second. <laughs> How did Rashad Brockington get in there and get that ball? It don't matter. He got in there, that's all that matters. The kid rebounded it and brought it down low, and Rashad snatched it from him. I seen how he done it. I was being facetious. Oh, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. We're going to call him the magic man. Now you see me, now you don't. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. They free throw, no another, good. Another miss from the free throw line. Good grief, guys. We'll carry these guys to Panama City and get them to build me one of those condos. <laughs> exactly. E.J. Brown comes out. Don't want to pick up a foul here on defense in his last 12 seconds of the third quarter. That's right. Need I, this one, Quan. They do take 11 out of the ball game. One more, and he'll be sitting on the bench the rest of the night. Quan with the free throw up, and that was good. Three-point ball game now here. Brooks leads it. Ten, Ten seconds. Like 12. Too good. They went right to the basket. Got two seconds. Hurry up. We don't even know the time. Yep. We don't even pay no attention. Yeah, Rashad wouldn't wear the time on the clock, but we'll uh, step away and hear a word from the sponsors here on Lanier County Network. Lee & Associates, accountants located at 3127 North Oak Street Extension in Valdosta, Georgia, has been serving its clients since 1993. With CPAs on staff, Lee & Associates offers individual and corporate income tax preparation, as well as small business services such as bookkeeping, payroll, and monthly and quarterly tax filings. Call us today at 229-247-1040 to set up an appointment for a free initial consultation with one of our experienced accountants. All right, we welcome you back here to the doghouse. Fourth quarter just about to start. We are trailing 49-44. Man, won the quarter, tied the second quarter. Uh, didn't play too well the first, and Brooks come away with, I think, a, a nine-point advantage at first. And here we are trailing it by five. Hope we can play our best ball down the stretch here. They Pulled do have, all basketball to start the quarter. Yep, they, but however, Brooks does have what I would consider their, their best player in foul trouble. He's on the bench now with four fouls. So let's see if we can capitalize here. Need a basket. Zay Ryan in the paint. Jumper, no good. Rebound, Brooks. Oh, steal there by E.J. Brown. Lay it up, and he does. 49-46, dogs showing press. Dogs a little bit of a defensive intensity of their own self here. Oh, oh E.J. had a steal. He, hmm, I thought he traveled. Zay Ryan got away with one. <laughs> Comes EJ to Quan. He lays it up and in. 49-48. 7.20 left in the ball game. Coach Stocks won a full court press. Let's go with it, guys. North, you have no fouls now. Get the rebound. 
Quan Pope comes out of there with it. Chance to take the lead. Quan's trip. Oh, they go call an offensive foul. That's absolutely terrible. You've got to be kidding me. Man, I looked for something to throw, and all I had was my phone. You've got to be kidding me. That is just uh, terrible. Yeah. It, Awful he, call. He hadn't even said. No. Good grief. Let's go. We don't need a towel. Let's go. Breaking the momentum. Good gracious, that's an awful call. And now Quan Pope with three foul. Po- Quan got three, EJ with three. 7.04 left in the ball game. Bulldogs trail by one. Brooks sending in a sub. 24 for 23. 23 didn't look like he had a clue out there what was going on. So Brooks to bring it in. All the momentum has shifted to the dogs, but let's see if we can keep that up here. Brooks will drive. They'll back it back out. They got a guy wide up here for a three-pointer. He thought about it, but go they get him. back it out. Go get him. Yeah, get on him. Go get him. They don't, don't, don't need to let him just waste the clock. Now, they got their best player on the bench. You don't want them stalling. Yeah. Brooks drives and nearly lost the handle on it. Trap him. Trap him. There you go. North, North. North out of there with it. Gets it to Quan. They tackle North back here, and Quan goes up to shoot. And, and they fouled. two guys tackle North back here <laughs> in the paint. <laughs> well, yeah. I'd rather have to foul on this thing because now we're at the line. Well, I say that. We might be better off inbounding the basketball the way we've shot free throws tonight. I mean, they saw nobody was watching, and they literally tackled Ethan North back here at the free throw line on the other end. Man. I got a feeling he's going to come out. Casey's going to come in. Got to have free throws, Quan Pope. Make these two, baby. First one up. No, no good. All we can do is tie. They're going to put him, uh, take out Zay. I'd do it and take him out. Why Zay? I'd, I'd take, I'd, I, I, I wouldn't do that. He's Zay not, played tremendous on the defensive end. He's in not the in third. foul trouble, which is a shock, but he's not in foul trouble. Tie ball game. Well, we dug ourselves out of the hole. New ball game. Now we need some more stops. Six and a half left. Final in Charlton. Turner wins at 51-44. Didn't get any help from the Indians. Got to do it our own self. Get Go on get him. him. Go get him. Oh, they, they tell him to come. He run over Rashad. Oh, there, foul. 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 there you go. And Bucks County can't believe it. I mean, we give them a taste of their own medicine right there, don't we? Chance to take the lead this time. And this Brooks County crowd is quiet. Can we get over the hump? A lot of times you, you get make the comeback and can't get over the hump and take the lead. Well, we played in a lot of close ball games this year. One North, North, of three. North of three. Bump it in. Seek the three-pointer. Dagger three-pointer there by Ethan North. 52-49. Six minutes to go. That might be our first lead of the ball game. It is. I think it is. Oh, yeah. That's our first lead. That was a money three there. Man. Have yourself a game, Ethan and North. Now, and now the Bulldogs are fired up. And these Quitman fans are silent. They were loud as could be earlier. They're having a moment of silence. <laughs> <laughs> Need to respect that, Keith. Respect the moment of silence. <laughs> Foul on North. He ought, that'll be his third. And I put Brooks at the line for two shots. Was it shoot? Yeah. 5.35 left in the ball game. Bulldogs by three. Clint, do you remember number two playing in the ball game down in? Quitting? Yes, I do. He was, yeah. God, man, look here. Getting the roll, son. They they get every roll on a free throw. And we, we can't get, get nothing. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Got to rebound it, guys. If he misses it, he gets shot an air ball. Air ball. Why? Why would you not call that for not? It didn't touch anything. Uh, maybe it grazed the rim. I don't, I don't know. That's the only thing I can figure, Keith. 535, start the clock. Register to, to Rashad. Over here to Quan. They shoving EJ Brown all around down there. Quan drives, had it stripped. Rashad picks it up, got it to EJ. He's he it up and up in. in. Yes. Count the basket. Give him a three point play the old fashioned way. EJ Brown. And I, hey, I might pay that kid's dollar this month. 
You might do what? I might pay that kid's dollar this month. <laughs> shave oh, you're about do- dollar shave club, club guy? I might, I might pay his dollar. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'm starting to like him. And number one, 11 comes back into the ball game, so now's the time to get after him. Well, i tell you what, Keith. If you spend that dollar, he will never have to buy another one. <laughs> <laughs> Lasted the rest of his life. We're going to need some sponsor money out of them folks. I heard that. You know, I, I, I get raises from Dollar Shave Club. I need to let them know. Put us on the map right Let's there. go, EJ. Donk it down. He's the only way up. Five-point lead for the dogs. 5.15 to go. The largest lead of the game. Brooks the looking to push it. Back to it. Thought the dogs would have it. 11 back in the ball game, and he scores. Got to go after him. Then back in 12 seconds or so there, and he's already put two points on the board. Get the ball to Quan Pope. Get the ball to Pope on the other side. Yeah, but he's grabbing uh, Qu- uh, uh, Zay. Go, Quan. Go, Quan. Oh, he pulls up a three. And hey, he shot it back. in his eyes, baby. <laughs> Big time three by Quan Pope. 58-52. All in his eyes. Bulldogs with a six-point lead now. I wanted Quan to go to the basket. Yeah, I thought that was a terrible shot when he took it. but And Brooks, Brooks County matches. answers was one. Oh, we had Zay Ryan wide open in the paint there. We couldn't get it to him in time. Corn drives. Lays it up and in. Watch Corn Pope. Have yourself a night, young man. 60 to 55. 414 to go. Oh, we have nobody on defense. I don't know why they shot that three. North for the rebound, and they raping him down there. (laughs) (laughs) They They called a foul. They called a foul on number two. And North had a little something to say about it. I'm going to tell you what. I don't know why that kid shot that three because he had a wide open lane to the basket. Yeah, he did. We'll take it, though. Can make it, can go to seven or eight points here. We've done this down in Quitman, and they made a mad comeback. Oh, we got Zay Ryan right there wide open. He lays it up and in. And five, number 11 just about picked up his fifth foul. Did right you there. see that pass from Quan Pope? Yep. As a dime, awesome. as he a threw dime. He a laser. Baby. That was a Bullet. dime, baby. Bounce pass down there. We love to bounce pass here. In the 62-55. Dog Zay Ryan, Zay Ryan. We get it to E.J. Brown. Lay it up, kid. And he oh, goes. Oh, oh, oh. Throw that jugger down. You better get a T.O., baby. That's right, <laughs> baby. And the ball dogs are fired up in the doghouse, man. E.J. Brown with the slam and jam on that end, baby. Gives the ball dogs a nine-point lead, boy. Oh, man, that was silence, silence, the, silence the Brooks County folks over here now, man. <laughs> oh, man. Who called the timeout, guys? They did. I think they did. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they needed one. You hear me tell them. They needed one bad, so I mean real bad. 337 left in the ball game. Bulldogs showing them how we played the ball here in Lakey. I don't know if I gave EJ them points, but I'll know at the end of the game if I didn't. Man. Still a lot of time left. I was nervous. to go. I was nervous there. I wanted him to lay it up because I didn't want to miss that dunk. But, man. Got the points and the exclamation on it right there. I still wish I'd have saw Quan get that two-hand slam where he drove baseline early. Yeah, because oh, that would have yeah. been Good sweet. Good gracious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad he didn't call a tick on it. Well, he, he, he had trying to protect, to protect himself. He had to protect his, himself. His legs swung out so far. If he'd have let go, he'd have landed on his back. Yeah, but still, I, it, you, you never can tell in a situation like that what they're going to do. Yeah, you don't never know what Babyface is going to do down there. <laughs> yeah. well, we got both sides riled up right here now. It's loud in the doghouse. This is the most exciting game in this building this year. Uh, very possibly. The clinch game was a good one, too. Yeah. And so was the Turner one, but. Brooks with the basketball. They'll drive layup up. He run over Rashawn. Offense and a foul. Hey, look at that man. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to pay $10 Number for it. Number five. Oh, set for life. He can, he, can, <laughs> he can share with his friends and family, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> family plan. Oh. Dogs can make it double digits here. 324 left in the ball game. Got to Go get ahead, across the timeline here. Got to get across half court, and he does. Near 10-second violation there. Juan with the basketball. 3.14 to go. Gets it to EJ. I don't want to let off foot Over off the to glass too much now. Got EJ in the paint. He lays it up. Should have been a foul call. Look at Quan Pope. Oh, there he come from. Please, 
I thought he was fitting a tomahawk, that thing. 66-55. <laughs> Coach Stites wants to put pressure on the deep, on the on the Brooks offense here. Almost One, a steal. Almost a steal. And that would have been a highlight on the other end. Get on it. Don't let him shoot a three. He won't. They shoot a three-pointer up. No, no good. good. Rebound, Rebound EJ, Brown. EJ ahead to Quan. He finna throw it on you. No yeah. foul call. It'll be all right. Yep, that was, that, was a clean, that was a clean block. But I'm going to tell you here, 11-point lead, 237 left with the ball, and I still don't feel comfortable. Ethan North going to shoot a three. Money! Money, money baby, money! <laughs> oh, man, that dagger straight through the heart, man. That was a – Dead Timeout, line. Coach Joel Stites. Dogs by 14. What a 69 55. Wow. What a shot by Ethan North. And if these dogs could play like this the whole game, they could beat anybody. Irwin just County think if they have made a chance. It, just think if they made 50% from the line. We'd oh, be, man, they we'd they be might up, score 100 tonight. Yeah, we'd be up 35 points. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's, So 2.30 left. Jeremy, I'm, get a shot of our coaches right there if you can. Look look how nice our coaches are dressed, all black shirts and ties. Yeah, look at them right That's there. class right there, guys. That's Absolutely. class. <laughs> we apologize to our sponsors. Man, this game's been so exciting. When they call a timeout, I forget all about it. We'll try to get some sponsorships in there next time. Oh, man. We'll give a shout out to Miss Jodan Holbrook enjoying this very good ball game from home, and we appreciate you watching. We'll give a shout out to my friend Charlie Bennett watching at home. He was watching, he oh, watches yeah. just about all of them that he can't make it up to the doghouse. Him Charlie. and Blake. And Charlie. So 2.30 left, Bulldogs up 14. Got to chase Brooks off that three point line, though. Chase him off that. Keep the pressure on. That's right. Don't make no stupid uh, passes. Brooks get his layup there. Not in a hurry here. Quang might go down there and throw it down. You better get out of his way. Shot there, no good. I can't believe there wasn't a foul on that. Two minutes to go. Brooks will lay it up and in. They cut it to 10. Cut it to 10, but EJ's down here. He Uh, missed the dunk. That's where a layup's much more. That's off the Brooks guy. Yes, he did, going that Bulldog way. Bulldog basketball. All right, we got to kind of get back in control here. That's why a layup's more important than a, dunk, a showtime dunk right there. And I'm going to tell you what, when he went up for that, I just I had a feeling he was going to miss it. He yeah. was just too open. Minute minute 53, 68, 69-59. Dog's going to bring it in. Who's got the possession there? I hate this new scoreboard where I can't see that. Got, got to get kind of back into control a little bit. There's a steal. steal. by Brooks, and that's going to be six quick points. And, a, oh. and a foul, no basket, but he made it, but he was foul. That's four on the shot. They don't, they don't go away. It's all the same thing down there in Quitman. We snuck out of there by two. I'm going to tell you what. If he knocks these two down, that's six quick points after we missed the dunk on the other end. Ah, it's got to have a point. 145 left. Brooks at the line. We got five team fouls on Brooks, three on your Bulldogs. Got to remember, number 11 for Brooks has four. Free throw. Get out of there. Rolls they don't miss in. none of them. And the thing is, they hardly make any of them clean. They all rattle in and out. And they're they, bringing 11 out. They made it a three-possession game. Well, what they want to do is they want 11 in on offense but not on defense. But I don't know. With a minute 45 left, I let the kid play. 69-6. Now, you know, not on defense. Yeah, because he might uh, – I mean, they might have a chance to tie it up and go into overtime. You're going to need him there. We hope this game don't go to overtime. Well, that's true. Huh? I'm just. 69-60. 145. Rebound it, guys. No, you don't need one. 69-61. And they still in. Another though. turnover. And we don't play any defense, but Quan gets the rebound. Gets it to Egypt. He's going to come up the sideline. Minute and a half. Gets it to Rashad, over to Quan. He drives. Ball stolen, stolen, but out of bounds off of Brooks. Will be Bulldog basketball with 129 left in the ball game. Eight-point lead. One basket might do it. They're going to call a foul on three. Oh, wow. Wow. Quan to shoot a one and one. Got to have the first one. If we miss this one, they come down here and hit a three. It's a one and one. Somebody's got to get down here on this kid on the other end. We got North and EJ going to head down there. Got to make the first one, kid. 
He thrown away. No in and good. out, no good. Rebound. Zay Ryan, Rashad, and oh. it goes out of bounds. Four seconds to milk off that clock. 11 back in. Five back in for Brooks. Cannot stress the importance of free throws. Free throws have not been our friend. If we got, Like you say, if we went 50%, this game is nowhere even close right now. Probably a 20-point lead. And missing that was like missing two, really. Oh, near still there by North. They call a foul on North. Well, fortunately, they won't be at the line. We had a couple of minute ten, there. minute ten. Yeah, we still got a couple. We got two One. more before they get into bonus. That's four on on North. Minute ten. Don't want an easy basket. Got a guy wide open for a three. He gonna pass on that drive. Lay a shot. Missed up. it. Rebound. No North got his hands on it. They're all over E.J. Brown. Oh, we had Quan Pope right here. There we go. We get it to him. We're going to slow it down now. Try to milk the clock. No, they're not, they're not counting it. Zay, yeah, get it back out. We're under a minute. 50 seconds left in the basketball game. Rashad with the ball to E.J., and they steal it. Dang it. Oh, shot no good. The tip no good. Rebound. Oh, and that's over the back, and it is a call. Five. 11 to foul out. Yeah, that's on 11. Yeah, that's on 11. And he's going to foul out. 40 seconds left in the basketball game. We'll be shooting a one and one. 69, 61. That's it for him. That's the first time in about five years I've seen an over the back call. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, all seriousness. Got to make this first free throw. Zay Ryan out, Case and Register in. Come on, Quan. I mean, EJ. We'll be shooting two after, you know, after the this. The rest of the way. We'll be shooting two the rest of the way. Yeah. Got to have this first one. Now we got 10 seconds. Get shot up. Taking his time there. Free throw on the way. Up, up and in. in. You can forget about all those you missed if you make these two right here. Yep. Absolutely. 70 to 61 can make it a 10 point lead and more importantly, four position ball game with 40 seconds left. Made them both. Made them when it mattered most. Clutch. No no layups here. Then they, they, they gave them one. That's all right. Timeout Brooks with 33 seconds, 71 63. We got a 30 second timeout, so I ain't got time to get our sponsors in right here. But um, Brooks County going to run in some designated foulers, and if I'm Coach Stikes, I put my five best free throw shooters in the game. But you also got to have some ball handlers to beat that press because they're going to be full court slapping and clawing and trying to steal everything right there. So. Since that four, first quarter. So I've, I've got my score right. We've scored 27 this quarter. Wow. Wow. And I I highly seriously doubt it's gonna stop at twenty seven. We're ninety three <laughs> feet away. Need to go forty six and a half in ten seconds. Get it into EJ Brown. He's fouled but no call. They tried to foul him again, there's still no call. Get the Gotta get it get it across. He does. And they foul him over there with twenty four seconds left. We milked about ten seconds off the clock almost. That's right. That's good. Want to shoot two. Need to make one of them. At least one of them puts you at nine, a nine-point lead. It'll take three threes to tie it. Brooks County's going to pull the defensive guys out and run the offensive unit back out there. 24.2 seconds left, though. I, I Got think, it. Clutch it. I think, a, I think this is pretty much in the books at this point. Well, we hope. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a full-possession ball game now. Stick around here after the ball game. We're going to talk about what we want to do next Wednesday. Right. We're going to see if we can get Coach Stites to come up here and talk to us. We're going to talk to Coach Stites too? If we, if we can, we can get him up here. Made them both. That's four straight makes from the free throw line. 73-60. Coach wants him to. Sort of drive and a well, shot. While no we good. wasn't looking, Peanut Pope came into the ball game. 
Yeah, I meant to mention that earlier. Is, uh, E.J. Brown's fouled 90 feet from the basket. He'll go back to the line for two shots. 14 point seconds left, and that's going to do it, guys. Yeah, it's all mathematics from here yeah. on out. Yeah. Well, boys, we're going to escape. Escape, hopefully, with a with a number two seed now. Absolutely. At least. At least a number two seed. We're going to Ocilla on Wednesday to play for at least a share of the region championship regular season. We here come the seniors back. Made them both. Here comes. No, he made the first one. He made the first one. Here comes uh, Griner Jewel, and Jewel. Jewel and Griner. Pope going to come out. EJ's going to come out. With, uh, I don't agree with that. I think put him in there right now. What if he misses? He might not get in the ball game. Put him in for Rashad. Or yeah, well, Rashad's a senior too. That's right. That's right. Got lane, lane violation. violation. We throw up and in anyway. Don't matter. <laughs> 75 63. Pete didn't put the point on the board. Now he's going to take Casey Register out. What are they doing? I mean, the basket counted. That's They inbound the ball. The officials don't have a clue what's going on except this man right here. <laughs> so Griner and Jewel come into the ball game. They They're did count the, the point, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I'll just make sure. 14 well, seconds. Just, just let them go with it, fellas. Yeah. They shoot a shot there, shot up and in. You got five seconds to bring it in now. They're going to foul Kaysen over there with 2.1. Yeah, just to clarify what you was talking about right there, Eric, on that, um, on that lane violation, they entered the lane before he shot. So what would happen there, if he makes the basket, he gets the basket. I got if you. he misses, he gets another shot at it. Because you want to penalize the guy at the free throw line for them going in the lane early. So register at the line. Put us up by 12 here on two mates. 2.1. Made the first. I'm about to see him get a miss here and get Jewel with a tip in. <laughs> well, after all those misses, we tearing down those condos. We've made five in a row. That's right. Made them when it mattered most. That's your second free throw on the way. This up and in. Six in a row, I believe. Might have been it more. It is. It's at least six in a row. At least. And he traveled there, but puts a shot up at the buzzer. Hits the side of the backboard. Bulldogs escape. 77-65. Very, very good. Lee & Associates, accountants located at 3127 North Oak Street Extension in Valdosta, Georgia, has been serving its clients since 1993. With CPAs on staff, Lee & Associates offers individual and corporate income tax preparation, as well as small business services such as bookkeeping, payroll, and monthly and quarterly tax filings. Call us today at 229-247-1040 to set up an appointment for a free initial consultation with one of our experienced accountants. Farmers and Merchants Bank has been helping people with their financial needs for over 100 years. And FMB is right here in Lakeland, Georgia to serve you. Whether you need personal banking with checking and savings accounts, money market and IRAs, or business banking with checking, cash management, and loans, FMB is also your lending solution for both personal and business. Whatever your banking needs, Farmers and Merchants Bank remains committed to be the best of the best. North Carter Street in Lakeland. Go dogs! Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Lakeland Drug Company has been Lakeland's hometown pharmacy since 1950. They're more than just medicine, offering personalized service, a drive-up window, and a delivery service. Located at 42 West Main Street in Lakeland, Georgia, you can call 229-482-3677 or visit them online at lakelanddrug.com. Lakeland Drug Company, more than medicine and a proud supporter of Lanier County Bulldogs. 